and 2017, still, there was really no standard of care other than chemotherapy for metastatic triple negative breast cancer. I can remember thinking, hey, what about genomic testing? Hey, what about immunotherapy? Hey, what about a clinical trial? I can remember those words when um, my original oncologist indicated we should exhaust all standard conventional care. And if we do that and it doesn't work, then we can think about the things that you're bringing up. I had been on clinicaltrials.gov. It clearly stated that if you've had too many lines of treatment, you will be excluded from a clinical trial. To walk away from your original team, to have no oncologist, and attempt to get into a clinical trial without an oncologist, that's an uphill battle. I had no plan of attack. I just started talking to a lot of people. I mean, everybody I could talk to. Just reading and understanding um, reports and white papers, and I looked at NYU site, and it was like, oh wow, they make it really easy if you put in your variables. So I can remember the phone ringing, ring, and it says, hello, this is Dr. Cho, and I was shocked. It's a double agent immunotherapy only trial that the cohort is opening for triple negative breast cancer patients. Would you be interested? I can remember trying not to scream into his ear. Wherever I went, there were there was somebody you know, along the way who was telling me that I'm going to be with you. We're going to monitor everything. If you have any questions, it was frightening and it was exciting because I was it was new. I was everything was new. Everybody was new, and uh, you know the chances were extremely slim that this was gonna work. Eight weeks after starting the trial, he pulled up the scan of what my lungs looked like, and he said to me, um, I've got some news. Um, from looking at your scans and looking at the report, there has been a 72% reduction in your lesions. And this is the very first scan. I was in complete shock, in complete shock. I remember being very quiet and eventually, um, I think I broke down and I cried. And I think um, I might have hugged him. <laughs> I feel very lucky and I feel very humbled by this whole experience. I don't think there's anything wrong with taking ownership and collaborating with your medical team. I'm just a regular woman from Harlem, New York City. I believe there's more Karens out there, but they just don't know it. I think the goal for me is that my little story may change some things and break down some of the stereotypes that come with clinical trials and people thinking it's a last stand. I think the discussion about clinical trials should be happening a lot earlier.